What you have here is the union of two time-tested inventions, the tried and true number five crossbar telephone switching system and the wheel. We don't take credit for the wheel. the 5A crossbar, but first, it's a truck fitted with a special platform and wire grid. And when we're through, it'll be a central office. A little pulling and we've got a ceiling. That's where the cabling and lights go, knit through the grid. This thing's really on wheels. The switching frames are assembled in the same shop as regular number five crossbar and wheeled out here onto the truck bed. But what makes the 5A really different? It's built in modules. They're like blocks that all fit together. We're just tying this whole central office together. It's like a big puzzle. Doing the wiring here at the factory saves at least a couple of months in installation time. Practically all they have to do at the site is plug the office in and tie it into the trunk line. The whole system's tested right here at the plant before it leaves, inside and out, number by number. So when we pack this thing to travel, we know it works. And all the packing's around a steel truss, so we know it'll work when it gets where it's going. We can build a one or two thousand line central office in a matter of weeks. Build it and get it to any telephone company in the country as fast as they can put up the building. unusual load but it's unusual all I know is I got it here on time and in one piece you might call it a central office in a cornfield that's really what it is and the five A's just what we needed uh, Western's got the whole package scaled down so you don't have to put up a fort to house it miniature crossbar switches seven foot bays instead of eleven all in one piece ten by forty two feet it even comes with its own power source and a separate module. It'll roll right in, or as much as a 25-ton block can roll, sort of deliberately, carefully. That's a thousand telephone lines rolling in there. And if we need more capacity later, it can be doubled by adding another switching module. Two thousand lines in all. In fact, since this unit's permanently fastened to the platform it was built on, we can crate it up and move it on if the area outgrows it. And if we're ever in real trouble, we can get a 5A from the plant much faster than it would take to build a central office from scratch. The flood just about wiped us out. Just wiped us out. We had a 2,000 line step-by-step -step CDO here, completely underwater. When the water went down, it was a mess. Had to scrap the whole thing. Just pulled it out and rushed an emergency PBX trailer in from out of state. But how long could we keep this up? Luckily, we didn't have to for long. Western had one of these 5A crossbar offices ready to go. 
So we had it trucked in from Columbus, put up a new building on higher ground. Once the system's in there and cut over, we'll be back to normal. The riggers are local men, but Western's working closely with them, providing detailed plans and even customized rigging equipment like the basket hitch. The whole process is painstaking and deliberate, adjusting a chain here, link by link, tightening a come along there. Western doesn't figure its job's done until the office is off the truck, in the building, and working. Okay, it's going up now. Hard to picture all this delicate communications equipment in a package that can be ordered up like an automobile with special options and moved across the country in a matter of days and swung into a building all in one piece at the end of some cable. Once it's in, all that has to be done is to unwrap it, hook up power, and check out the system. Pull the trunk lines in and we can wire the main frame. It's supposed to take four weeks to cut one of these babies over. We're gonna do it in one. This thing will be clicking in no time. Hello? 